The following is a presentation of the Black Hollywood Live Network, the first online broadcast network dedicated to African American entertainment. Hollywood redefined. From Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menunos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is Black Hollywood Live. Let's talk about sex. Featuring in depth discussions on dating, intimacy, and relationships. Black Hollywood Live. Hollywood redefined. You're listening to Black Hollywood Live. And now, the host of Black Hollywood Live, let's talk about sex. Come on. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things that may be. Let's talk about sex. You know we talking about it. You know we talking about it. I like that. You know it. You know it. You know it. Remix. <laughs> So we are back for another sexy episode today on Black Hollywood Live. Let's talk about sex. Everyone's doing it. We might as well talk about mm-hmm. it. I am your host, Spicy Mari. And joining us today is co-host Phoenix White in the building. Hello, hello. And we always have Dre Renee in the building. Hey, guys. <laughs> and we have a special guest for you. We have a sexpert. We brought a real sexpert and relationship expert. She is phenomenal. Her credentials are magnificent. We have Emily Morse in the building today, you guys. Hello. Love being here with you. You guys may recognize Emily from Sex with Emily. She has a podcast that she does and she gives out sex advice and it's a full panel like discussion as well, right? Yeah, I mean, I have guests. I've been doing it for eight years. I've done like over 2,000 shows and I have guests, I have callers. We do a little bit of everything. I've covered every topic on the planet. So yeah, you can download it iTunes for free. And yeah, so nice. I know that we're awesome. we're lucky to have you as well because you have a doctorate actually in human sexuality. I do, yes. Mm-hmm. And so that means that you are educated everything under the sun as far as sex goes. It's code. true, but I, yeah, I have to say because we were talking earlier about this that I um I started my show like Pat Sex with Me in the living room in my living room eight years oh. ago because I just was interested. Everyone's going, I'm having the best sex. I'm having the best. I'm like you are. <laughs> I'm not having the best sex in my life. Really? What's going on? Like, yeah. How, how, what does that mean? You're the best. so I just invited some people over and started a podcast. And then for the first few years, I was like, you're an expert. I'm like, well, I don't know if I, you know. So then I read every single book on the planet, did hundreds of shows with experts. So I really taught. And then I went back to school just a few years ago to get the degree. So really, I mean, just there's so much information out there. The great wow. books, talking to people. Yeah. Well, we're definitely going to awesome. make you spread and share your yeah. knowledge today I on will, the show. I will spread them. <laughs> I mean, I'll share spread my knowledge. Them. <laughs> everything sucks. People are like, how's your day? I'm like, you want a blowjob? Can I just <laughs> do the same yeah. thing. Sex. Anytime yeah. we can squeeze in anything or sexual innuendo, <laughs> we go in. Okay. Right. So yeah. today we're going to start off with Hollywood hotties doing the naughty. And mm-hmm. we always start off the show with this because everyone in Hollywood is having sex. And mm-hmm. so today, <laughs> today we're discussing Olivia Wilde. She's on the cover of. Glamour, and you guys might recognize Olivia from the show The House. Mm -hmm. And she is currently holding her newborn baby, but she has her breast in the baby's mouth, if you didn't notice. So I want to get your guys' opinion on whether this is like sexy or not. I don't think it's either. Because it's just like it's it's the number one, like, yeah, people are just going, yeah, it's like the number one picture right now that's right, like Googled. Trending, yeah. yeah, it's trending. Everyone's uh, wondering what's going on. I think it's fine. Yeah, I, I think, think it's, it's fine. I think, I think people take things too seriously. They really do. Like, it's not that serious. I mean, I think her partner probably thinks it's really sexy and it is a beautiful <laughs> photo of a, yeah. of a woman with a baby. It, it's yeah. more, I don't know if it's sexy as much as it is just sort of like a beautiful image of a yeah, woman doing the exactly. most natural thing in the world who just gave birth and she's a beautiful woman in society. So. But I don't know if it, like other guys who who are not her partner would be like, oh, I'm getting you know turned on. Turned on, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, so, she's she's giving the baby some milk, I'm just, right? So <laughs> that could be sexy, you know, in a way, I titty mean, in the mouth. I don't know if it's sexy or not sexy. I just think it's a it's a it's a beautiful photo, right. like she said. Like it doesn't photo. make me feel much of anything. But like, oh, that's a pretty photo. That's sweet, but and I it's so controversial. Like it is kind of been controversial too, right? Yeah, the fact get that she why, did that. Though. Me neither. Everyone gets naked yeah. everywhere now, right? People well, she was so saying dramatic. she was saying that normally when she breastfeeds, it's not in you know a full makeup. Yeah, and then probably <laughs> I, think, a $3, I think she's wearing dress. like Vera Wang or something. Yeah. Like. Yeah, of course, of course, she's like in her sweat. The, yeah, the baby usually has a diaper on. <laughs> right. I mean, it's oh, I didn't actually. Even notice the, I didn't even notice the baby's that. nude. Yeah, that's <laughs> an artistic photo, but I don't artistic. like to think. Se- I don't think sexy exactly. breastfeeding. No. Yeah, no. But, but nice again, yeah, her partner, her husband, whoever she's with, she's I'm bad Is it that. Jason Sudeikis? Yes, yes. yes. He's, he's probably like, that's like, beautiful, you know, and that's, yeah. that's <laughs> who should boob. think it's sexy. Her boob looks good, you know? Nice yeah, dress. I mean, they're up. 
Yeah, that's and good. I like way down low. Right, wait till she know? stops breastfeeding and then. Okay. Yeah, I went through that. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're nice and perky nice right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so I just wanted to get it out there whether or not, because it is, it's, it's huge and it's trending. And mm-hmm. so I think there is something that can be sexy about being a yeah. mother. And obviously she had to have sex in order to create the baby. Um, so hopefully, you know, her bedroom is just as fun and as ex- exciting uh, as it was before after the child. So yes. we're wishing Olivia lots and lots yes. of luck. But one thing that often occurs is bedroom mistakes. Oh, now, whether they happen so prior to, you know, children or after, <laughs> regardless, they happen. And how do we avoid them? And what are men doing versus what are women doing? So we're going to get mm-hmm. into that in just a second. But before, Emily, I want to get your opinion because you actually write a article that you have on your website mm-hmm. for uh, Sex with Emily yeah. that talks about bedroom mistakes. Exactly. So if anyone goes to my website, sexwithemily.com, and you put in your email address, you'll get a report you can choose if you're a man oh. or a woman. And we have the five biggest mistakes you're making if you're a man and if you're a woman. So that's that's the report on my site. And it's been very popular because people are like, oh, that's not me. I don't need this. And they're like, oh, no, I recognize myself. I'm doing all those things. That's pretty awesome. So we did a little research of our own. And so you're going to tell us if we're on the right track. Because what I discovered um, trying to find out if, you know, I'm having appropriate sex or not, if I'm (laughs) making mistakes, um, one of the things that I found was that the biggest mistake that men make, um, not taking sexual cues like verbal cues right that's a huge one right huge i mean how else are they supposed to know what they're doing i mean men have got to pay attention to her reactions is she is she breathing is she moaning is she, yes. her eyes rolling back in her head is she twitching or is she just kind of lying there doing nothing <laughs> guess what you're probably not you're probably not turning around in that moment right. i think yeah. that men a lot of times they're so concerned with their own performance yeah. that they're not paying attention but all the cues you need are, are there if available. you pay attention they so that available. definitely is one of the top hits for sure. And then, have you guys Points. experienced that? Is that something that you guys have, like, you've been with a man, maybe he's not catching on to your breathing? See, I just tell them. I'm very, yeah, I communicate a <laughs> lot. Me too. I'm like, I want you to do that, or do that longer, or you. don't do this thing. So I'm, I communicate a lot. So it's I a grew different. into that, though. I used to not be like that at first. At right. first, I would just be like, disappointed. If I'm quiet, <laughs> he's going to change this, right? <laughs> right, right. Because we, we expect, that, well, that's one of the mistakes. I don't want to jump ahead, but one of the biggest mistakes that women make is that they think men are mind readers. Yes. yes. They oh, do. he's just going to figure it out because he's a dude. So he he knows this is yeah. what no and every woman's different so how, exactly. how is he supposed to know his last girlfriend wanted this and you want exactly yeah. it, does seem, it does seem complicated when you think of it like that like you think about the partners mm-hmm. that you've been with and every single one wants something different exactly. they all like something different right it's true and as a yeah. woman i mean men's equipment you know, it's kind of not that they don't vary but it's kind of same but women is like we vary. Yes. Yeah. I always say like, the vagina different. is like the Rubik's Cube of life for men. They're like, well, I don't <laughs> get it. Like, I'm so confused. My last <laughs> right. one, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, when what they do, do when you when you are giving the cues, like, say you're saying, okay, hold me tighter, grab me tighter, and they're not taking the cue, what else can you do other than yell in their ear? I say, know. get me a sandwich, because this is so good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really thirsty. Because I've been in that situation where I'm like, okay, squeeze me, push me down on it, and they're not taking the cue. And, what do you and mean I'm they're like, not taking the cue. I, 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 I don't understand, understand this. this. You're like, baby, squeeze me hard. Yes. He's just and not listening. Just yes, don't. it's like not. They just don't enough. do it. Yeah, and I didn't. Are you like, whispering? No, no. <laughs> she's got a bull on now. And I don't want to like smack, like you know, like listen I to will. me. But you well, know, the what best would, time to have yeah. these conversations, I would say, is out of the bedroom because maybe he's in his own world. So the best yeah. time to have talks, give, give a, your partner feedback, is when you're not having sex. Maybe we're on a road trip, having breakfast the next day, but not in the bedroom. And you say, babe, and you got to sandwich it. God, sex is hot. I love having sex. It's yes, so hot. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> yes. And yes. do you know what feels amazing and what really, like, when you hold me really, don't even address the fact that he didn't hear you the night before because all you yeah. know he was in his own whatever. So you could say, but when you hold me tight like that, that when you squeeze my ass or whatever, it sends me to the moon. And then, and then hopefully he gets it. But if he doesn't get it after that, you can try another time. But then other than that, he's either selfish, not <laughs> yeah. right, has a bad anywhere. memory, yeah. So know. they do yeah. say that the sandwiching the mm-hmm. comment is important. That Very if you're going important. to tell a man a negative, you have to sandwich it with at least five compliments. They five? say five, five, because what? the male what? ego really? is so huge that I heard that you have to sandwich it with five. Wow, wow. I've, I've, heard, I've never five. heard that give, one. Give give lots of compliments. What if you all the don't things have you five? Say, and then put the. <laughs> what if you don't have five? I can't do yeah. that. You I have just, to come up with at least five. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no, you could. 
But then it seems lot. like, it's yeah, forced. then his ego's soaring and he's not going to hear the negative. He'll be like, I'm, yeah. I'm a stallion. she good? Stallion. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be like, I'm a stallion. Whatever. I'm not squeezing your heart enough. But no, exactly. but, but give a few compliments. Like, we yeah. all want that, right? Yeah. Exactly. When someone gives you feedback, or even if it's an employee or anything in life, it helps to start with the positive right. and then, and then go into where we the need to help. And, and constructive also, criticism. Exactly. Also, maybe trying to, like, to do something to where you really get his attention if you're in the space and not, you know, outside of the bedroom mm -hmm. if you're in it. Like, I will make you get my, I'll just like, stop. get like, your okay, attention. Well. Like, there has to be a way you where do? you can stop yes. them to get their attention to where they're paying attention to you. Like, look at me. Mm -hmm. I want you to put your arms right here. Yes. And I'll, like, I'll, like, really, like, get, get into it. it. Like, like get focus his, in. Yeah, like, stop them. Like, don't even move, but, like, I'll, like, I'll put your hands up and I will hold you down mm -hmm. and I'll be like, stop. <laughs> Me too. I want you to take this hand and I want you to put it here. And, and do they like that there. though? Because yeah. one of the biggest complaints that men have about women in bed is they don't initiate sex enough. But they like it when you tell oh. them they what like to do. They like it when you do. A man wants you to tell them. They yeah. do. They yeah, really they do. do. You get they don't know. Again, we expect them to know. We expect right. them to know. We all think that. I think growing up and we're sort of socializes women to think that it is all about the ma male mm -hmm. pleasure and it's not really about mm -hmm. our own. No, it's not. Well, well, that's right. It's not <laughs> at all. And so I hope that's really changing. I think it is changing. Yes. And so, but I think when we're younger, we're thinking, well, I want to look good. I want right. to feel good for him. I want to make him feel good. Exactly. And we don't think about our own pleasure. But then the more experience you have, you think, wait, what about, about what about me? Right. I want this as well. So kind of merging Especially those. when you're just having sex with someone, it's sometimes difficult to say like, oh, hey, don't do whatever. Because you are wanting to like connect with the person right. and not criticize them exactly so when you've been with someone for a while then I start thinking that maybe you feel like they should just already know right and they don't they yes. do not and you can always but, explore and try new yeah. things yeah. too and that's people change people change what you like changes yeah exactly and it's so and to me like the, the a successful relationship successful sex life is when you are constantly expanding and growing yes and communicating it becomes communication is a lubrication i always say it because it's like <laughs> it's true couples don't talk about sex you can't imagine no. these emails it's i get so important they email me before they're talking about i've been with they my wife for 20 years the show. i know exactly <laughs> exactly no but they're like i haven't 20 years we've been together and I, i'm like do, do you know what our fans talk? talk? It. Because it's <laughs> weird because I think we all start out in relationships and the sex is amazing. Like I could have amazing sex with this coffee cup for three months, right? Like, <laughs> who, who doesn't have amazing sex at first? But then right. eventually. Right. Everybody's you, going to get yeah. bored. But you didn't yeah. learn how to talk about it and you think it's weird and he's going to feel bad and then or she's going to feel bad and then time goes by. So I always tell couples, start at the beginning. Start talking about it at the very beginning because then you develop that language. Right. And then start bringing, like, like my book here, 200 Things You Can Try Tonight. It could be anything. Go shopping at a sex toy store or just keep going. Gotta keep expanding. Thing. It gets yeah. boring. Yeah, exactly. It does. That's that's biology. After a while, you're gonna boring. get tired. And you know he's gonna do this. You're gonna do this. I hate when sex gets to that routine. Right. Stagnant. Place. But are yeah. you also part of making it routine and sure. stagnant? So oh, I think yeah. I yes. think yes. everybody yes. has all a responsibility. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's not just to continue to like make it fun and interesting and like surprise them with something new. They come home with you know you have on a new outfit exactly. or you have on like a little something. Yeah. Teasing. Teasing. Yeah, no, that's a, those are all like important things because those are all, that's, that's what keeps it spicy in the relationship. Mm -hmm. um, one of the other mistakes that men make in the bedroom is that they aren't um, warming up the engine properly. So by, right. by that, I mean, we, we mean oral. They're not, okay. they're not having oral. And mm -hmm. a lot of women don't vocalize yeah. that that's something that's important to them. And they want to be liked in, you know, this situation and be comfortable and make him comfortable. And I know a lot of guys who don't go down before right. they have sex. And I have friends who complain about that. Are they single? And they oh, haven't yeah. told I mean, the guy. That's awful. They got to tell him. Yeah, I mean, well, I have a whole theory on this. But no, I believe <laughs> What's that. What's theory? <laughs> We can how how graphic can we? I'm just thinking. You can be vagina. very. And I'm a doctor, so I can, okay. No, I think that there's men who love the vagina and men that don't love the vagina. Yes, I mean, and then the yeah. ones men who and, that, and they all want to have sex with it, but there's guys who are like into it. Like, oh, babe, did you shave? Did you get a wax? I just want to get in there. I want to know. Yes. It. I want to be friends. I want to. And those guys are like, can we just pump this out? Like, yeah. And 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 yes. I don't know that they're ever going to change. It's kind of like tomato. Like you love tomatoes, yes. you hate them. I can't be all of a sudden. I'm gonna love tomato. So I think there are guys for whatever reason, maybe they had a bad experience with yep. the vagina or they're just like, they just don't like it. And those are not the guys that I typically want to be with. Yeah. But there are women who don't like oral sex as well. So yes, they exactly. just need to match. There needs to be a dating site. Just for here's people yes. who like oral, here's people who don't. <laughs> but, but it is important. So many women need to be warmed up. And foreplay, I always say it's, it's not a suggestion. It's actually a requirement. Yeah. Because we can't go from zero to six. We're not turned on just because you're turned on. And oral sex is How do you lot. have that conversation with them, though? If they aren't pleased by their partner's lack of oral, you know, right. fixation, 
what do you say to them? Like, hey, can you put your head in between my legs yeah, tonight? Yeah, it's a you really, like it's a tricky one to say. So, you know, we've been together. You know, I'm just wondering. Um, I really love performing. Oh, it feels really great to perform with you. But I, and I love, as if he's never done it, say it would feel amazing to, to feel you down there performing. You know, you don't want to make them feel bad. You don't want to say, like, why aren't you? Right. And you don't want to use those language like, you never do this or you never do that. You could say, God, it would feel amazing to feel your lips. Are you guys paying attention? This is great advice. Yeah. How yeah. to say it is very important. Yeah, it is so important. Because if you do the you things, like, babe, you never, you, ne it just That's shuts all off. They oh, hear. men all they hear. You never, and then it's they don't defense. listen. So right. you just say, like, I love our socks. It's so great. It's This is what I love. The sandwich thing I loved. God, last night making out was so hot. And I would just love you to make out with me between my legs. But you're right. Something Some like men that. just don't do it. I dated a guy that he was 35. He'd only done it once. And yeah. he, he never wanted to do it again. And did you ask him why? never do oh, it. Oh, no, I just said bye for You're with somebody yeah. who never did like, it. No, no, no. Oh. I, said, I know someone who's never done it. Like never? a guy. And he's, he's that's like crazy 35. To me. And he's like, I probably never will. I just don't like to. See, but. Oh, no, But that's. Well, no, I, was, I knew that he, he wasn't for me. How does he doesn't like to if he's never done it? I just knew that he wasn't for me after that. Right. No, but I'm saying, how does he know he doesn't like to get it? <laughs> She's like, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't ask anymore. I just, <laughs> she deleted his number. You were his like, number. lose my number? No, yeah. I was like, we're going to be cool. <laughs> no, exactly. I didn't <laughs> be like, friends. Like, like, yeah, we're going to be friends. That's yeah. not going to work with us. I, I had a thing. boyfriend once. I had the same thing. And, and we were dating for a while. And then we were on vacation somewhere. It was very nice. But I said to him, I was at dinner. I had a martini. I was like, so babe, really, like, what's up? Like, I mean, is it just, is it that you're not? You're not really into it, or you're not because I always assume like either they're they're just not into it, or they don't know what they're doing. Yeah, they need right. guidance because it's confusing. I was like, is it that you're not in? You know, you don't like it, mm -hmm. or, or is it that you kind of want guidance? Because I'm happy to give you. Don't something. worry. <laughs> He's like, no, it's just not my thing. And I was like, oh, okay, mm. well, you're not my thing either. Yeah. Check. <laughs> Check. No, I, it's so yeah. important. Yeah, but some, yeah. but honestly, there are women who truly, for whatever, a lot of women, it's self-esteem. They're insecure yes. about I think it. It's insecurity thing. Yeah, they're like, I do, I, you know, taste, smell, taste. But for some women, it actually is too sensitive for them. Like it doesn't feel good. Like yeah. that's, that's for real. Like they really are. They're like, it just, it hurts. How common is that? Because I haven't heard about that. I know it's, it's. I don't think it's very common, but it is. You know, I would say out of maybe. 30, 20% of women who don't like it, so 80% is probably more embarrassment or, or self-esteem, and maybe 20 to 30%, even 30, I'd say it's too, they're just too sensitive. Wow. And a lot of times the women who mm. don't like it is because they're multi-orgasmic, and they can have orgasms really easily, and their clitoris, everything's really mm -hmm. sensitive, and so they just don't like it. I think I might be one of those people. Ooh, I was just thinking because, that too. I might be as because well, because I, I have all the orgasms. I like, have clitoral, all vaginal, I like everything. Everyone. Yeah, no, I don't like too. to keep going over and over. And over. Like, no. if you do it, I want an I have an orgasm. I don't want you to keep going. I don't want to do it again. I want right. to. Yeah, you want to go to sleep, right? right? No, I want to start having sex. Like I want to be penetrated. Like I don't want yeah. to keep. I want oh, you're to saying keep if going. you stay doing oral? Yeah, yeah. they want to oh, stay. They want to keep going again. It's like I just had an orgasm. I don't want you to keep going. It's not right. going to happen again unless you blow on it, desensitize it, and start <laughs> right. over. Exactly. It's not going to happen again. But they think I'm going to have another right. orgasm. Okay. Like right. stop. And I'm like, I can. No, I'm it. not running because I'm running. I'm running because I want you to stop. So, do you just say, baby, that was awesome. I really want to feel you inside me. And then transition. Well, I do now. Okay. But eventually, I just be like, okay, but maybe do you, you like them I just to want to make feel you. you have an orgasm first when they're going down on you and then have sex? I don't care. I just I just want to play. <laughs> oh, okay. You know, I don't want the I orgasm do. yet. Because if I no, have the orgasm before like we either. have sex, I'm like done oh, I, for the night. No, not I'm me. Like, I just keep play with going. it and then mm -hmm. like we can continue on after right. that. Because sometimes you just it. need to get right. It doesn't need yeah. to go to mm -hmm. orgasm. It no. can just be a warm-up. I like up. to have it and then so, right into sex. All right. What about you? Do you like um, to? I like to have it. Yeah, I'd love to warm up. And sometimes I can have an orgasm and then have another one. Yeah. You know, a lot of times. Oftentimes, I hope. But no, I like it. I need, And also, just when we say foreplay, it doesn't, so for the people who are not into oral sex, the women who don't want it, I mean, there's so many other things you could do. And a lot of times in long-term relationships, like one of the first things that goes is kissing. Yeah, You know how much we love making out at the beginning at of a relationship? Beginning. Yeah. And then all of a sudden it's just like, okay, Taking your later. pants off or whatever, and then you're just having sex. You're like, yeah. what happened to the kissing? So I really believe that we have so many erogenous zones on our body, like yeah. the nape of our neck, like our, you know, our nipples, our hands, our, our inner thighs tease us, bring us to the point of wanting it and begging for it. And mm -hmm. that we want them not to go right for it. Even if we're talking about oral sex, you rub my inner thighs. I mean, you want to build the anticipation and that's, you know, foreplay. You, There's a lot of you, different ways to do it. Have you ever played like the kissing game? You know, when you oh, play this game where it's like, kiss me, and then you have to pick the part of your body that you want to be kissed on. No. So I do it. That's another way to get people to do oral do you on you. <laughs> you basically, right <laughs> like, you basically right have like these, you know, you can make little cards, you can cut them up in a piece of paper and, and you pick one and it says kiss. 
and then Love it's that. wherever you tell them to oh, kiss you. I have a board game like that. Touch, you know, okay. it's, you, you, know, you can make it on your own. Yeah, you roll the dice, and then it tells you like the different places on the board, or whatever that, that you have to, you know, touch, taste, um, lick, and then eventually when you yeah. get to the end, it's sex. But well, you can just take <laughs> turns too. You can just take turns, and then you can say, "Kiss me." Yeah, on my shoulder. Is this a homemade game that you make? I just I don't I don't use a paper anymore. I just say it. So I'm like, no. and then we we'll, we'll, we go back and I forth. Love, she's in this game. Yeah. I love it. We just go back and forth. I'm like, your turn. It's like, kiss me here, and it's it's very sexy and cool. So that's also a good way that to get somebody right. to start hard. doing. Or I want you, you to kiss me. Like, either too. point. Oh, I want yes. you to kiss me right there. Yes. Right? You know. And so there's also sex way. dice. You know, it's really fun. There's sex dice. I love yeah, sex dice. Oh, I didn't have those. Yeah. So um, one one of the die the die has like lick, tickle, <laughs> yeah. kiss. They have glow rub. in dark sex dice. And then mm-hmm. the other one oh, has like feet, hands, different parts of your body. So when you roll it, it'll be like lick toes or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I mean, you know, my eye was like, but so yeah, that's another fun way where you now, can make your own. A common mistake exactly. that men make that they don't even think sorry. about <laughs> is that they might not be receiving oral because they're not properly groomed down there. Right. And oh. they, you know, sometimes men complain, oh, my girl doesn't go down on me or, you know, this chick I hooked up with doesn't go down on me. Yeah. You guys, you have to manscape. Like, that's yes. a requirement as well. Just like we have to wax, you guys got to manscape. Okay. And so, so they like don't take that it. into consideration sometimes, yeah. though. But that's a huge mistake that guys make. Letting it just be... Poof. I don't like it all gone, because that kind of freaks me out. But I, if it's not trimmed up just, a little, just a little I bit. I think some guys don't care. No, some guys you don't care. Yeah, My ex don't. didn't care. Because I know for me, like, I don't like having hair anywhere. Right. But the last boyfriend I had, he wanted me to have a little Every bit. And I was like, different. Too. Different. Oh, Everyone's yes. different. Yeah. Some, some people want to land you like it. Some people want the Playboy bunny. Yeah. Some people want it all gone. Yeah. What does your man normally want you to have? Um, You know, I don't even care. I'm going to ask him. But no, <laughs> I, I, honestly, I feel like it, it, it feel like it changes. I feel like they're mostly, most guys are into nothing. Which is just Most easy men too. Are yeah, into nothing. Which is just easier, and it's a it's cheaper just... wax too. When they're waxing you, because when they take it all off, it's, can't it's do wax. like ten dollars cheaper if Hurts. they take it all off. Yeah, than if they have to do a design. Yeah, Hurts. that's it. And I'm always in a rush, <laughs> so it's like take it off. I gotta go. Five minutes. I got I five like more minutes in the meter. I feel like Hurts. my vagina off. I can't it take it. Hurt. I try, and they always go lasered. back and do it again. But I think on darker skin, it doesn't do it as well. Yes, that's true. we have to get special lasers. Yeah, smart. The no no. Do you guys know the no-no? No, what's the no-no? Um, no-no is a hair remover that you can get at home. And if you go to, what is it, nonoemily.com? Is that it? Oh, no, nice. we have a special deal with them. And it, it's, a, it's a thing you can use at home and to remove your hair. And it's like, it zaps it off. And it oh, lasts really? a really long time. Ooh, really? And you can use it anywhere on your body. That oh, you need yes, to. I think your I face, your lip. They have it on TV that. all the time. And we yeah. just got this. Yeah. It's like yeah. a, is oh. it the electrical pulse Yeah, one? and men can use it too. Yeah. Kind of thing? It okay, doesn't I hurt. Did like, I've been watching TV. I'm doing like And so you can just zap your own hair down there. Everything. Now, what if you zap the wrong thing? Like, what if you zap your clit? Well, it grows back. So it's not. Oh, don't do that. No, I mean, but it's, I think, yeah, you should be careful. Mind, mind the clit. Just make sure you stay, I guess, on the, in, in their thighs. Yeah. And stuff. But men can also use it, like, lower back. Like, you know, men get the hair and the neck. Yes. And the, yes. I don't know what to do. I don't want to go into a... The so older anyway. they get, the ears. How, how many times <laughs> do you have to do it in order for the hair to start? Um, to right start away. Coming? Like, oh, okay. I'd say you do it a few times over, like, a few-week period. But right mm-hmm. away, it's gone. And then you just keep maintaining keep it. it. Yeah. So you just oh, happen yeah. to give your man that as a gift. Like, here, yeah. babe, you know... Notice you have a little hair growing. Yeah, you do it together. Grooming, like monkeys. Right, yeah, exactly. do it for him. Just like, I'm about to groom you. <laughs> yeah. See, well, the grooming, that's a common mistake that men make in the bedroom. Right. And being mute. That's another one. <laughs> men not communicating with you back right. verbally what they like that you're doing as well. That's right. common also, right? It is It is very common that yeah. men don't, they don't communicate. Or when you, funny though, when you first said mute, I thought the men who just never say anything, they have <laughs> no, orgasm. No. You're like, did you have an orgasm? And then they're like, like, mm. I'm like, I missed it because you're like, right. mm. I was just this guy when that's how he orgasmed. Mm. Oh, I missed right. that. I like no. that. I like it when we want to hear you. We want you to be vocal. We want to make it about to come because that might make me come quicker. Yes, Thank exactly. You. Like Definitely verbalize does. that. But then also, men should be telling women what they We, we want to hear it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, like, I always ask, like, was this good? Is that good? You know, and they're like, yeah, baby, you're great. But no, if there's something else you want, I think that guy should absolutely ask for yes. it. Tell us all the great things we do first. Do the sandwich. Do approach. the sandwich. Please. But yeah, it'd be really fun if we, you know, or I'd love to tie you up that'd be really hot or if you wore a sexy dress in here or if you performed all sex anymore go a little yeah. slower or if you poured Emily and Tony oh this is my body yes. yes I have these massage candles and they are really oh. cool because you just you just light them first of all they look like I don't know if because everyone's like massage what can I oh my, kids oh my gosh can't it smells so good if you guys yeah. could it. smell this you would be they awesome. are I'm very this, so that's cocoa this is fougere mm-hmm. and then there's vanilla and they look 
Ooh, like regular oh, it candles. Does smell good. That smells and, really but good. But it's made out of coconut oil and soybean oil, all natural. Yeah. And you let the oil pool, you light it, and then it becomes oil. Can and you, you blow massage, it out? Really? Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. And then you pour it in your partner's body, and it's not waxy or sticky or hot. It's not going to do oil. anything. Oh. And you give them the most look. And I'm telling you, I've gotten emails from people that are like, this has saved our sex life. Because it's aromatherapy. It smells good, and you get all oily, and it just, it's fine. Like that. And I it's just like a little bit of romance it plus, yeah. Exactly. And it's kind of hot. Massage. Like, it's a little bit of kinky, but it's not, like, messy and whack, hot, whack. Now, you whack. showed me awesome. this lotion a little bit oh. earlier. I could probably use this right now. <laughs> you guys with titties at home, if you have big titties, you know that they sweat. <laughs> In addition to the inner thigh sweat, no. okay? Yeah. <laughs> this is a miracle product. This is our best, like, it's, yeah. It has a fresh light scent, but this is the, it's like a powdery talk. Yep, and it absorbs any moisture really? on your body. Yep. And, oh. like, also prevents chafing. Exactly. Oh, yeah, it's a it's like a oh. miracle. I mean, it's called Down Under Comfort. And it's a lot of like men, women, we use talcum powder, right? But it's messy and it can be actually carcinogenic talc. So yes. it's a cream and it turns into a light powder. So it's not messy. And anywhere you sweat, lower breast, back, between your legs, all day long, you will be, it, you oh, won't sweat. And it has yeah, citrus yeah. scent. Smell it. Smell it. How good it and hygiene is also for men. Speaking of manscaping, a lot of men, like, think they're fresh they're like I showered this morning but if oh. men put this on in the morning between the legs like on their balls whatever ah. all day long they will be fresh and dry oh really all day long all, like because sometimes have, your man might ooh. come home and it smells like a right. you know Mexican burrito exactly so. <laughs> and this and oh, this has been a long day huh so <laughs> go exactly. get in the shower go get but they think the they're fresh because they shower right. but this will keep you and women yeah. too anywhere you no, I use it earlier I put it in between my <gasps> And my inner boobs are dry. Yeah. Oh, it's yes. a miracle. Oh, yes. It kind of is. I'm I did, proud of I it. I took the test. I took the challenge. The Emily and Tony challenge. Yeah. Yeah. It's always wet. Comfort. Yes. There's always some juice on the inside. You? <laughs> I should bring you And some it's more. dry on the inside. Yeah. It's dry. Oh, that's a miracle. Oh, so usually it's not. Oh, see? <laughs> usually it's moist on the show. Because, you know, we sweat while right. we're in it's here. I'm toasty. talking about sex. Yes. I'm getting hot. And, you I know. getcha. So It's kind of a miracle. I'm so glad. Try it. I'll have more. We'll give you more in my car. I'm definitely taking that home and putting it everywhere. I'm so the gym, if we go work out. Yeah. Maybe put some in between my thighs. Oh, totally. Yes. You won't sweat lower back, yeah. everything. And it's um if people want to go emilyandtony.com, use code Emily for 20% off. Nice. Oh, nice. We're gonna have to use it's that really 20%. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna get the So what inspired you to come out with this line? Um, well, it's funny because my partner Tony owns a wildly successful skincare line called Anthony Logistics. It's a okay. top seller at Sephora, New Marcus. He's been around for 10 years. And so he he and I are friends from childhood, but we lost touch. We're having dinner. He came to visit San Francisco for work, and we were sitting there at dinner. Hadn't seen him in 20 years, and we just started talking about lube. Because we also have a lube that hasn't come out yet, of course, my every conversation. So are we going like to that in. lube, too? Yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> because I've said to him, I said, what the hell is the problem with lube? Because there's such a stigma. If she's dry, there's discomfort, better bring out the lube from inside <laughs> under the bed. Yeah. And I said, it enhances women's experience. Even if she's wet, and like, is wet, when you add a little bit, it's even better. Women always report yeah. they have more orgasms with lube. And I said, I want a lube in every nightstand. Like, I was just going off on this lube rant. He's like, I'll make a lube with you. Oh, and then nice. we started this line. Oh, and I said, well, let's do a massage Tony. candle, too, because there's other companies that make them, but they're not that good. So I, like, test every... I think that we perfected it because it's not... <laughs> well, I do, because people who own the stores that sell it are like, yours are our favorite. But we worked really hard on it. Yeah. Like, I tested so many candles because I didn't want it to be... I don't want you to change your sheets. I don't have to worry about it getting all over the place. I don't, I want it to burn. Yeah. I want it to be moisturizing. Cause honestly, I don't always have someone to massage every night, but I light it <laughs> and I blow it out and I use it all over my body. Just to, you'll see oh. it just, it's the most like moisturizing. That's awesome. We use it in my office every day. We're always like pouring it on and people stop. I'm like, going to try them. So, so that's how we were inspired. That. We have some, a few more products coming out, some wipes and stuff that are coming out. And, and what are the wipes out. for? Like, like if you. Feminine wipes. Before you like, if you Ooh. accidentally like, sex. Maybe he comes over and you're going to go to oh, his yeah, house. Already. You just didn't yeah. know. You're coming back yeah. from going out. You wipe real quick. You leave it in your purse. And you're yeah. like, mm, little wipe. pH balanced. Oh. Feminine nice. wash. It's not out yet, but I will I will send you all some. And I think if we have more, I'll give you some of my car, but I will send you all some. So Tony, <laughs> Tony's not your man. I thought Emily and Tony. Not yeah, I thought he was your man. Girl. I know. Everyone like thinks that. Now, are you in a relationship as a sex expert? We have you to everybody I'm not like, in a assume relationship. that you have like men dropping at your feet because you know probably oh, everything do, to do to no. make them, you know, come every which way. Yeah. I, I do have a lot of men that I see in my life, but yeah, I'm not girl. in a committed relationship. I've never really been oriented towards uh, Gemini, being a one. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right? <laughs> it's true. I'm not it's like a one that. one man show. Like I, I, I I've been in committed relationships, but right now I'm just kind of having some fun dating 
work really anything. hard. Well, that's my what brand. the concept of misadvised was yeah. about, right? Oh, right. Umbrella. You did the show misadvised. Right. And mm-hmm. that dealt with the women on the show. You guys are experts in relationships, but don't have a current relationship. Right. And so it was kind of exploring, you know, how you yeah. guys give this advice, but you're not seeing anybody. Right. So it's, but no, I am seeing well, people. Well, you're seeing, seeing someone, but you're not people. in an exclusive <laughs> no. relationship. No, exactly. And that show, so that was a reality show on Bravo a few years ago. And it was, um, it was about three single dating experts. Do we practice what we preach? So oh. of course they go in, are we misadvised? So I'm like, God, I've been building this brand for eight years. And I'm trying to show that. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But I have to say that, honest, thank yeah. God, it actually helped. It, I actually came out looking not like a total asshole. So it was good. It was, it was really good, good for, for everything. But they kept trying to, like, you know, trying to catch me in these rules. and Because I'm not one of these women who like, has all these rules that you should follow. Mm-hmm. And I'm a yeah. sex expert. Like, I'm not, you know, I do practice what I preach sexually. Right. But I, I don't yeah. necessarily... You know, I've been in relationships out of them. I'm dating, but I'm not really looking to be in a, in a, in a full-on committed one right now. So but you don't I'm want to be married sexual. anytime soon? No, I've never wanted to get married. Oh, Could change. I know. I know. I know. It's a little odd. No, no, no. It's not the norm. It's not the norm. And and I'm very open. And I think this show actually helped me, too, because I've always kind of said it, but, you know, three months, cameras following you, the whole thing. I'm like, you know, God, I just, I really, and they kept kind of pushing me, like, don't you want Prince Charming? Don't you? <laughs> I don't. Not every I woman actually, wants that. I, yeah. I said, I feel yeah. like I'm from another planet sometime, but, but <laughs> monogamy just has never been my thing. And at what point in life do you just like accept that yeah. this is who I am? Exactly. exactly. And I'm open to it one day being my thing. Maybe one day I'll meet someone and I'll be like, oh yeah, you're the only one I want to be with. But right now, thus no. far, hasn't happened. It's not by circumstance, yeah. it's by choice. It's by choice. Yes, because yes. this is I a choose hot it. body over here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can get it. Thank you. I mean, I, cho- I choose it. And I'm, I moved to LA like a year and a half ago and I meet a lot of nice people and have a good time. <laughs> yeah, girl. I gotta keep doing research yeah. too. She pulls so. out her candles and her lube and oil. She's like, Let's Oh my god. Time. Well, I have a full on, my garage is filled with sex toys. Next time I'll bring you guys a sex toy in my office. We want like it sex all. Toys. Yes. We accept I'm everything. Not, I'm like, upset. like I wish, like, I feel like we can be best friends. I should, I'll bring you whatever you want. Yay. Everything. Um, everything. So <laughs> I have a guy that I'm seeing that, like, is that whenever I go visit him, he's like, I mean, he's not visit LA. It's like 20 minutes far, yeah. 30 minutes. But he's like, Bring your toys. Like, he's into it. Because I think there's a misconception that. Uh, do you guys use sex toys? Yes. I know. That was no, the last thing. That was the last thing. Yes. Phoenix, no, okay. no more. You don't, you're against mm-hmm. them or you just don't like I'm not them? against them. I just, I don't like the vibrating oh, ones okay. because it makes me itch. So maybe a dildo, like something that doesn't vibrate. I haven't tried it yet. Oh my God. Phoenix. We got to get her. Go to I like sex real toys. stuff. I, yeah, no, I get we it. We get that. Both. We get that, yeah, but you got to try it. It's all about expanding. <laughs> and the thing is that, that men, there's a, there, this has changed in recent years, but a lot of men think like, it's going to replace me or it's bigger than me or why does she need it? It's like, honey, listen, it is your new best friend because it can cut the time in half that you actually need to please her. She's not going to run out for their vibrator. You know, they don't cuddle. I know, like, we're leaving. They don't cuddle. Like, I'm not going to leave for my vibrator. And the, the, the other thing is that Men actually like the vibrations. Like you can put the vibe, play with them yeah. with the vibrations. They're like, whoa, they've never felt that either. So I think I sex to toys are again. a good time. Yeah, but I have a guy who's like my tester because I can test it. him out. And he's like, br- I'm like, bring over a suitcase Love of toys. It. Yeah, it's fine. I'll be a tester for I you. I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> I mean, she will. The last time I did it was a really long time ago. It was probably like 10 years ago. Oh, yeah, they've come a long way. I mean, I masturbate a lot, but I just don't use any toys. Mm-hmm. That's good. What, do you use lube or you're just like full on fingers? Yeah. Well, I don't use my fingers, but I just, I just, I just want to tilt myself the right way to where. Um, but she can, can like come on her own. She said while she's driving. I guess. Yeah, I, oh. I do it in traffic a lot. <laughs> really? Because it's just because yeah, there's a lot of traffic in LA. I'm so like, <laughs> tell me all the time. And I'm, I'm sitting. Saying, yes. I'm, I'm sitting in the car, and the car is vibrating a little bit. You know, like I don't like right. that boring vibration, but it's just off. slightly. Well, it, you know, just slight, and how long does it take slight, you on your own? Twenty seconds, not even. It's not long because I I know how to tilt my like I study my body, so Good. I know how to tilt yeah. my body to the right degree to where I know I'm going to come. Learn their body. That's one of my biggest mistakes for women understand what makes them tick. And so, you know, we have a panel who's very sexually like confident. An accident. But we want to help other women get sexually confident. Well, that that's a bedroom that mistake is, that for women. That's number one, yes. I would say. Is so that, let's go through the mistakes that women often make. Because you okay. mentioned some earlier. You said lack of communication. Um, one huge one is women wearing, worrying about what they look like right. when they're having sex. Yes. That's a big one, ladies. Yeah. 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 He's in the room with you naked. Yeah. He's not thinking, oh, God, but she gained a pound. Or why did she have that, you know, bump on her? He's so happy to be having sex with you and he's excited. Yeah. And he's, like, he's not looking at what you're thinking about. So I think self-esteem is another one of the biggest killers of women's yeah. sex drive. And yeah, no matter how much weight, they, they're still going to have it. So if your self-esteem is like this deep-rooted from childhood, go to therapy and figure it out. Because you've got to <laughs> make it your life work to cultivate confidence yeah. and not be that that woman well, in the bedroom is one of the lights it's a off. turn off if you're not confident. Yes. Right. Like you yeah. leave your shirt on to the very last minute. You go to the bathroom and you got, you're you know, you jumping wanna, and turn the lights off like but that. But I'm not going to lie though. There's been a time where 
where I've been on top, and I'm like, dang, I wonder if he can see this little layer right here pinching no. over. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Stuff. Every woman at some point yeah. has thought yeah. about yeah. how they look on top, or if Certain their titties are clapping, like, oh. whatever. But it's <laughs> impacting your ability to be present and to be in the moment. Yeah. And the more confident you are, that's sexy to him. Like, it doesn't matter. If you are confident and you love your body, it's like everything in life. Like, if that's exactly. what you're projecting, he's going to love it right back. If exactly. you and he probably already was. But the number one thing, I think, is that women don't know their bodies. They yeah. don't spend the, except for you, but they don't, <laughs> they, don't spend, they don't spend the time getting to know their own bodies. And a lot of women believe someday my prince will come and, and so will I. Know. Right, but think yeah. about nope. it. Someday my prince will come and then so will I. They think like, oh, he's going to show up and, and it's all going to work out. Yeah. And, well, we all know it doesn't happen that no, way. So women don't take the time to to masturbate and to figure yeah. out what makes them feel good so they can explain it to their partner. We're thinking he's going to figure it out. Mm -hmm. But unless we tell him and show him, they're not going to know. And also, it's, it's expansive. So just because you know how to orgasm in this one way, doesn't mean that there aren't other ways you can orgasm, like G spot orgasms, or maybe mm -hmm. your breast, you know, breast or orgasms, clitoral, clitoral G spot orgasm. The breast gasm is the now, second most common type of orgasm. How do I get a breast gasm? Because I don't think I've had a breast gasm. Right, you probably have it. You got it. You know, you it's might cool. be able to. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! I like love you. Okay, when I hate how you. do we have a breast gasm? Tell do us. Like, like, I mean, I need to know. Can you do it now? Well, everybody she is different. So it's kind of so for no. Yeah. Well, for me, it's different. <laughs> so for me, if you just lick around it and you keep licking around it and keep licking oh. around it, and if you rub up against me the right way while you're doing it, or you wrap your arms around me a certain way, you it's can just, breast gasm. I have to be. Now, at does a the breast gasm angle. come out of your vagina, or does no, the breast gasm just come out of your breast? I mean, it comes. I mean, you feel it all through your body. You shake. You do different things. Yeah, it's a. It's an orgasm, I mean, but it's not, yeah, you just feel it all over your body. But, like, no body. juices, like, flush out. No, 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 no. Oh. no, no, no. Well, then no I juices. might have breast gasms, and I, I just know, didn't know. I probably yeah. have yeah. breast I gasms. Know. I mean, you just feel the same feeling like an orgasm, but, but again, you might not even know it, so maybe next time you're masturbating, you're like, okay, I've been doing it the same way. I'm going to put some lube on or a vibrate and just start touching them and see how it feels, and <gasps> it might not happen the first time. else can we gasm from? <laughs> so can I ass-gasm or neck yeah, oh, gasm yeah. or orgasm? Yeah, anal sex. Women can have orgasms through anal sex. A lot of women. Really? Oh yeah, that is. Actually, I mean, yeah. it's very common because you're coming in from the back door, and it's yeah. it's it's the same tissue that's connected to your G spot, and oh. it's very sensitive tissues within there, and use a lot of lube. <laughs> I know you've had them. Too. Well, I don't do I don't do that one, but okay. I know about it. No. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my, my I best know friend, she can... loves that the most. Yeah, yeah. my ex roommate used to like that. Now, let me ask you this, Emily. What do you think about reciprocating the asgasm to a man? Is oh, that good. touching on homosexuality or is it okay because he's your partner and he's with you? No, oh my God, it's totally okay. In fact, in, in, okay, so happy um, Anal Pleasure Month, August. <laughs> you didn't know happy this. Happy Anal Pleasure I Month. I just did my show about that. So <laughs> actually the male prostate or the male G-spot as they call it is, is really, really sensitive and a lot of men have a lot of pleasure, not just gay men, so straight men. And they... I mean, it's called pegging, or you oh. just stick your fingers in there. And, and men, a lot of men are freaked out by it. Like, so it's going to be I'm gay. Yes. I don't want to do it. But I always say. The boys. I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? They're so shut down. <laughs> what did you say? Don't tell the boys. Don't tell the boys. Yeah. Right, because they think it makes them gay. Not at yes. all. In fact, it, it's like the most unknown thing for men. And there's this great, I mean, there's there's butt plug. There's one called the, um, oh, by Vibratex. Yes. It's a vibrating <laughs> butt plug, the black pearl, it's called. And it's like. Vibrating one. Yeah. Huh? I know. I want it to. Is that what you're thinking? Just kidding. But I don't know if you were. But no, but for men, <laughs> or just a butt plug, whatever they can do, they could try on their own when they're masturbating. A lot of men mm -hmm. find if they stick a finger in when they're masturbating, it's like this amazing thing that they, that, but yes, they don't know. Because I don't even know how you stigma. would make a man comfortable with that, though, if they're so anti, no, you know. You just do it, girl. You just kind of do you it. Just you just stick, put your finger. Yeah, you go. But another top. cool thing that you could do instead of sticking your finger in there, if you bend your... <laughs> Okay. You bend yes. your knuckle like this and you just kind of go like this to kind of put a little pressure and rub. without putting your finger right. inside. It kind of does the same thing too. That way everybody's cool. Like yeah. You stick on it. Yeah. yeah. It or works. Per, you know, like but the you taint. do that like after they've showered. Or when they're, well, yeah. Because <laughs> if it's been a long day, well, you, should, you shouldn't be having sex <laughs> they took a dump at work. You know, <laughs> right. Dirty. And no. And then you like, you definitely yeah, want to do it. Yeah. <laughs> maybe take a shower beforehand. And also women, if yes. you're concerned about the way you get shower before you do, or planning on venturing into the anal territory. Yes. Yeah, so it's a good thing to do. Yeah. So cool. men, I think that it's like this uncharted territory for them that they got to yeah. get over their thing. And, and why not try it a few times once you yes. feel like it? It might, because most straight men I know who have tried it are like, oh my God. It's like, I've never had a straight guy be like, 
I right. try. I full on tried it. Not just like she tried. And it's to stick not it. going to turn you gay, okay? No, yes. <laughs> I think not that's a misconception. All. I mean, totally, gay? Yeah. Like, no. It's like it's like the it's a male G spot. It's where it yeah. is. It's, it's supposed like to be pleasure. one of the best orgasms. Yeah. For them. So, dude's like, why are you so freaked out? Like, what if it's the best thing in your life and you never, you're in your deathbed <laughs> and, and, and someone sticks your finger in your butt? And you're like, oh my god, I'm about to die. And I could have my entire life been having this G spot, male G spot. <laughs> you're just so pissed. <laughs> I'm just imagining some old guy like trying to turn around. But like, do, do you know what's funny? <laughs> older guys actually like it more than younger guys are yeah, willing to do because they're more comfortable yeah. but they're more confident yeah, right. with their bodies and they're more yeah. comfortable because I did have a guy say like he says like touch your touch my ass or something like right. that or like and I was just like you know I touched it right. but I didn't know what he meant I right. know he was like I want you to like you like, play with my oh, my butthole. Oh, oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Good. Have you had guys ever tell you to play with you know play yeah. with their see? Their I didn't know that. Bit, yeah, but totally. they're older. Yes, because they're a more little bit older. Yeah. Like, yeah. Not in their twenties, well, probably. No, but then, no. no. Start them young. No they should know. Like, they're not. They're too freaked out. Just like 40, women in their fifty. They're only ones that have ever yeah. been okay with that. Or with sometimes me. you got to toss a salad to get them comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> Even getting some people to yeah, that that's point. the way to start. But just, mm-hmm. I say even with women, if you want a woman to be comfortable with that, is that don't just start sticking things in. Make sure there's like lube. <laughs> you like, where'd that come from? Rub it around, <laughs> like the anus, it can be very sensitive. And then maybe That's stick a, a pinky in and you just, you just slowly build up Slow, to it. Slowly. It's very that. slowly. I mean, because a lot of people have bad experiences where someone just like puts it in, no lube, no preparation. Oh my they, God. Was, that sounds awful. Oh yeah, it, it happens is. to a lot of it women. Happens. They're mm-hmm. like, they're like, ah, never again. But it's like if you're with an unexperienced partner, that's how you're going to think about and it. And you can but. talk them through it, right? Because yeah. that's, one, that's one of the things that we had mentioned earlier is women maybe needing to communicate more, giving yes. a little bit of guidance. Absolutely. Don't be afraid to give guidance in the process. Right, exactly. I mean, I think men would totally appreciate that. If they see you getting pleasure with someone who wants to bring you pleasure because that turns them on as well. I mean, that's the other thing we're talking about, oral sex. Like, There's some mm-hmm. guys who are like, I just, it's such a turn on to me to please you. That's so right. But there's some guys that just, don't see that, and I don't know if it's just and you I can't don't teach go anywhere them that this them. is going to make. That's true. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's guys who are like just get over with or whatever. It's not yes. hot to them, but then there's guys. There are, you know, and then but then like, how do you teach it? Someone like, no, you no, can't. no. I swear to God, when you look at me being pleasurable, you it's can't gonna... teach that. <laughs> I don't think you can teach. No, that. you can't. And so mm-hmm. that's what I'm saying. There's the guys who that liked it and don't. So oh, no, act like it's that's true. What meal. advice would you give to women who don't <laughs> initiate enough? Because that's a common complaint that men make as far as Huge. women in the relationship are yeah. concerned is that they have to do all the work. Right. That she's not jumping yeah. on top of them. And yeah, so kinda. what would you tell women who need to be more aggressive? How do they, you know, kind of get their, I guess, you Have know, courage up? Like, yeah. Honestly, I think it's it's so simple. Guys are so simple. Like, he can walk in the door. Let's say you make a dinner. Walk in the door and you just grab him and you pull his pants down fun. and you Seriously. go to town. That's that fun. That's every man's dream to mm-hmm. walk in the door and yeah. have some moral. Um, you it could is? just say, really? babe, send, it's I always easy. say like foreplay starts after the last orgasm. I mean, so you could be like, babe, I that was so hot last night. And when you get home, just wait, I'm going to give you the most, you know, intense massage and I can't wait to feel your body. So just you start building it up and then you're like yeah. already committed in a way. And you're, like, <laughs> you're like, oh God, I got it. And then, you know, wear something sexy. I mean, I know a lot of it sounds cliche, but truly we talk about making efforts mm-hmm. in a relationship and constantly expanding. Like exactly. wear your little cute things that you never get to wear that you mm-hmm. only wear to those crazy parties or whatever, <laughs> like, you know, Burning Man or wherever you go. I'm San Francisco, everyone's got their crazy. But wait, <laughs> dress up, be cute. Like make an effort to say, like take them into the bedroom. Just just start it. It could just start be with like the making out. Mm-hmm. Start kissing them. Um, buy a new toy. If he's talked about something, you know, buy the bondage tape. I love bondage tape. It's like, <laughs> it's like right. you know, like, you don't need to get the whole, you don't need like 50 shades of gray, like a dungeon. But you could get like, <laughs> you know, you could just that do would be something. Expensive. Yeah, or blindfold. Whips and chains. Like, right. But like sometimes I just tell like, you know, blindfold them. Like sometimes it's like, this mm-hmm. is Tonight's all about your pleasure. And then you blindfold them, you know, use a tie and you put it, lay him down. And then by the bed, you could like light a massage candle. You could have some ice cubes and he doesn't know what's coming next. So then you give him a little massage with the mm-hmm. warm and then that feels really good. And then you put the ice cube in your mouth and then you drip it down his back and it's oh, cold. Right. And then you have some feathers and it could just be all about his pleasure. That feather thing is, is amazing. Yeah, I've right? I've experienced that. So mm-hmm. you just, you make it about him that night. I mean, that's that's more elaborate, but you could also just, you know, Tell them that you want them and that you're really. But you know what? It can also be the other way around too, where the men. There are certain. My girlfriend's in a relationship where her man never wants to have sex. 
And Absolutely. she's constantly asking him, like, hey, what's going like, on? What, what's right. going on? It is a myth that, or it's common, people think that yeah, it's the it's woman who's yeah. rigid. Yeah, yeah, but I not. hear this more often than not, that mm-hmm. a lot of times it's the man it's and not, not the woman. It's not uncommon. And that's yes. a common mistake that women it's, make, is thinking that he always wants to have sex. Right. It's not true. And that's not always the case. No. Sometimes he's dealing with, like, the stress of work, family situations, yeah, financial. It sounds like a conversation that needs to be had, like, yep. in with, with your friend's case. You yeah. know, like, oh, yeah, they need yeah. to have a conversation, like, a real conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Or either, if you met him that way, then you got with him and you knew yeah. he was like no, that. It then wasn't that way in the beginning. They've been so no something happened. It's not like a low sex drive thing. I something happened. So. And she needs to have a conversation. Well, know. you know, if stress like is. That. Yeah, I mean, stress is a huge, especially for men. So if men are like suffering or having issues around work, like let's say financial. Mm-hmm challenges or they lose their job or they're unemployed i'm telling you it's like they're they've been like castrated or something they, yeah. they they're mas- yes, they feel huge. they feel emasculated because if you go back to like men are supposed to be the providers and right. and, and, and they literally it's a biological thing that they feel like if they're not feeling confident you know monetarily or professionally they're not going to want to have sex as much. That's and like it, a big indicator. Is that going on with your friend maybe? or he, Yeah, he ha- is having some issues at work. That's usually it. Yeah. It's and, or stress. And tell so, your friend to call into the studio <laughs> and <laughs> speak with Emily right this second. Now. <laughs> if you guys do want to call yeah. in, you have every opportunity. Our number is 424-253-0504. And so if you're not able to catch us this day uh, on today's episode of Let's Talk About Sex, next week, keep that number, yes. 424 424- Two five three zero five zero four, and we can answer any questions that you have. We can send them towards Emily. We'll have her back on the show as well. Oh, so fun! <laughs> you guys should all come on my show too. Oh, yes. oh we I have to. to. Yes, absolutely. Okay, done. We'll. Do- I love this. <laughs> yeah. So anybody who doesn't necessarily have maybe all of the Emily tricks in a bag, or you know the BHL, let's talk about sex tricks in a bag. They can get your book. Hot yes, sex. hot sex. Mm-hmm. Over two hundred things you can try tonight. So you can buy awesome. it on Amazon or go to my website. So click on awesome. the Amazon banner and yeah it's like 15 14 dollars online and it's uh it's a it's great so gift nicely done it's yeah very it's classy, classy, you mentioned classic. that all these photos in here are photographed oh, of real I people like it. in these positions yeah, yeah we took pictures of we took video pictures so of people cool. actually having sex and then we had this amazing illustrator in london it's illustrate awesome. it and and it's beautiful it's it came, i i think i mean because awesome. it's not sometimes when it just photographs you might be like whoa or if it's just sketches you're like yes. i don't really get it but this is like you know and it's, it's not like overwhelming it's not effect, exactly so it's like activities I in here it. too get carried Ooh. away and it gives you all the positions in order to like pick yeah. your partner up exactly it's and, it, and cool. it starts with teasing so there's four chapters it's like tease Explore, adventure, or something I can't remember. If you do a book too, <laughs> but there's four. The making. Is this in book book too? Yeah. You want to be? I want to be in the book. I'll be in it with Dre. Oh my god, I would love it. <laughs> I'm I'm love it. Um, Amazon. You know, I would say go to sexwithemily.com and just click on the hot sex banner or the Amazon banner, and it's right there on my website. Awesome. Or just go to Amazon. But. Oh, I just okay. discovered this position. What position? This, posi- this swinging on the porch. I, we don't have a porch, but I just discovered this position <laughs> oh, in the bedroom. Oh, yeah, really I fun. really like this. This one, yeah, does. because you're getting I love angled. this angle. Oh, Sitting on his lap, so show him. This is a great position. Yeah, That's, because you're getting more um, yeah. G-spot simulation that way. Or really? Clitoral, or you can rub against him, too. Well, I don't know how you orgasm. This is my favorite yeah. one. Really? Like, if I want to be in control, I do that one. With oh. your legs up, too? Right? Cause I can't certain- do the legs up. And then no, but it's not up, these are bent, my No, they're, they're bent forward. <laughs> no, they're, they're not up straight. They're bent still. Oh, it's because okay. he can really go deeper too when you're in that position. You can control it more. Oh, and then okay, okay, the depth yeah. and the pent, right? Is that what you well, like about yeah, it? Yeah, and then you too, slide. you can stimulate the clitoris at the same, same time, time as the, right. vag- as the vaginal. So exactly. you get both going yeah. at the same time. Right, because you can rub yeah. and he's exactly. going deep. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Just 200. So Hot Sex, and it has over 200. So over 200 things you can try it, which I think the title is so funny because over t- you're not going to try them all. If you try them all night, like, send me an email. About, yeah. right? <laughs> I'm like, we'll really? Like, 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 you're going to have a busy night. But the great thing is, and how a lot of couples or people have emailed me, they use it. They're like, we just open it. Like, we just open it to a page, and we're like, this is what we're doing. Because a lot of times when we go back to, like, couples have a really hard time communicating, uh-huh. use it as, like, your third-party thing. Like, I, it's not my idea. But let's see what Emily says in the book. Or people listen to my right. show that way as a suggestion. Okay. It's kind of like a sex Bible. Yeah, it is. And you don't have to read it. <laughs> one to the, And you can I just be it. like, okay, honey, we've never tried that. I actually, this guy I've dated was oh, like, oh, I like that. Oh, I never, have I done that? I definitely right. need to try that. I Four on the floor. Fun. Yeah, there's the pile driver. I mean, Emily, I'm l- taking this book home and I'm trying You have a everything. lucky man tonight. <laughs> I know. Man. I'm like, right. we have to get through all 200 pages tonight. Tonight. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. And then the yeah. next day, like, Let me know what you think. <laughs> now, you are pretty popular on social media. You're number one on um, Twitter as far as like a dating expert is concerned. How did Amazing. you 
become a dating expert as well. Um, well, you know, I've always been sex and dating. I mean, I think the title of my show, when I first started my podcast, I was like, it could be dating with Emily or sex talk with Emily. And then I just thought sex with Emily. That's mm. the title. But I, my show, I give a lot of dating and relationship advice too because it's not that everyone's calling up. I mean, usually they're very closely attached. Mm-hmm. Not just like technically people are saying, Can, how do I do this sexually or that? It's yeah. like, well, my boyfriend never does this or that. Or my boyfriend. and or, or even just talking about breakups. Like, do you think long distance relationships work? I mean, I'd have right. to yeah. say that. You know, maybe even half my show is is relationships, mm. the things I deal with. So how did I become an I mean, I think I've just, I I know a lot. I've always been the one that gives advice to people about relationships. I've studied them a lot. Mm. Um, I've been in a lot of relationships. And I, you know, I don't know. Because you're number one on datingadvice.com as well. Yeah. And so, you know, you, you have the Twitter, mm. this Twitter sex expert thing going, datingadvice.com. I mean, you're giving out this advice left and right. And then you're practicing it too, I'm sure. You, yes. you practice a lot of those positions as well. Yep. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yes. It's a good time. Each partner, you're like, okay, we have to try a new position from I book. do, seriously. I was like, <laughs> can we put like starting putting flags in there of what we've done wrong? I, actually, there's like a few that I actually What's your favorite, yeah. Emily? My favorite position? Favorite? Yeah. Um... Oh God, I don't have a. F- uh, let's see, I, I don't have a favorite position. I really don't. Like, there's not one. I guess I like being on top. Yeah, because I can control. Me too. But that's like so. I'm. But I. Let's see, my favorite position in the book. <laughs> it's I okay mean, if you want to say missionary. Ah, it's not though. I mean, it's yeah. not missionary. I like um, shower sex. Really? The whole chapter on that? Yeah. It sometimes it depends just, on my It's like you hair. have to be the right height no, for shower sex. I mean, I'm looking for like what I like. I don't know. I don't shower know. sex is like a quad Mutual workout. Mutual masturbation, can I just tell you, is such a great tip for couples because we all know that men are very visual. But if you're trying yeah. to date someone new, we're talking about like people can't really, you're not great at communicating. Two of you sit there and you do, you do your thing and then it's hot, you're getting turned on, but you're also learning exactly how they touch themselves and oh, what they need. That's a great and then you're like, too. oh, I'll just do that. You know, I mean, obviously there's might be a little more to do, but you just know when it's hot. I've it's only done that one time in my whole life. It's sexy. Only oh, done what? The mutual masturbation thing. Oh. I think that I women that a lot once. of times think, oh, I don't want them to see me doing yeah, it. Yeah, I'm gonna look like weird, gonna be my no, face is, no, but you know what? It's mo- every guy I've talked to is like, it is the hottest thing in the world. I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, you don't want to see them. Mm. So yeah. we have two tasks. Drea, you have to try masturbating in front of your man. And then <laughs> Phoenix has to use a toy. Okay. <laughs> and we get it from Emily. Yes. Yep. Yes, I'm yes. shipping them and then all we'll to you. Report, we'll report back to the show. So, Emily, before we wrap up the show, we always do uh, the Naked Truth, where okay. you have to bear it to us, okay? Uh-oh. And so, for today's episode of Naked Truth, we're going to ask you a series of questions, and you have to answer. You're okay. in this hot I, I can't even, like, feed the fifth card. <laughs> okay. All right. Have you ever been involved with a woman? And if so, do you prefer a woman or man? Um, been involved? Yeah, I mean, I've sexually. been with a woman. Sexually, I've been with a woman, and I'm typically more with men. All right, girl. Which was the better experience orally? Women. <laughs> of course. Of course. But, of you know, course. it's a toss up. I've had good men, I've had good women, but All women right. know. They know it's our parts. I like so, that would Emily. you get into a serious <laughs> relationship with a woman? You know, I haven't yet. I, I don't, I never know what's going to happen to me, but I, I don't I think so. But, but you know, so for, I mean, I don't know. For our viewers watching, serious. Emily saying there's a chance. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> I'm not for saying everyone. no to anything because it'll, who knows? Yeah. I really don't know what my future holds, but I'm I'm pretty open, if you haven't okay. noticed. Yeah, yeah. Yes, if you haven't noticed. Open book. I love it. <laughs> and do you remember your first orgasm? I do. And if so, describe it. Oh, God. My first orgasm. Well, here's the funny thing is that I was, uh, I didn't orgasm. Like, I didn't even know about orgasm until oh. I was in college. I never masturbated. Really? Never even occurred to me to masturbate. And I came from yeah. a really liberal home. Never masturbated. And then in college, all my friends were like, orgasm. I'm like, what? So yeah, I remember my first one with this guy in college and it was like, I remember being, it, it was like later in life. I was like, I was 22, maybe 21. Like, wow. like yeah, I know. I'm a late bloomer. Maybe that's why I'm all over this stuff. <laughs> but like, it was, it was, I was like, oh my God, I think it's what happened. And it was, it was, I was on top and I remember it. My whole body shuddered and shaked and it was amazing. I just... Good nice. feeling. Yeah. And she's been having them ever since. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Is that not? I mean, it was just, I remember like knowing it was like, they think this is it. Think this is it. Because yeah. so many you know, women can't orgasm. About. Because yeah. they're thinking about it all the time and then they stop themselves. Is it going to, is it not? Is that? But I just was like, ride the wave, ride the wave. <laughs> because I had yes. read everything about it because my friends were like, what do you mean? They're, they're emailing me articles. My mom's buying me books. Like they were like upset that I couldn't have it. My mom's like, do you ever? And she's like, do you ever like smoke pot? That was my mom's thing. Like, that's like the only <laughs> Girl, sex. She's not even a stoner. I'm like, mom. 
really? Like that's your only sex advice? It was pretty funny. I always laugh about that because it's not even like she's smokes. But the that. worst thing is when you're almost there and it oh, stops. Like you're almost there, you're God. almost there, and then like they move or right. you just yeah. don't complete the orgasm. Right, your it's phone like, rings. And you trying to catch it, and you trying to catch it, you're like, oh, <laughs> right. It's called like the missing. It's called like the the, the missing orgasm, or the the, the what is it? The elusive or the missing orgasm. What there's a name for it? The evaporating orgasm. The evaporating yes. orgasm. It is the worst. That is the worst. worst. The worst. I get angry after that. I'm like, right. You're angry. Ah. After me. I have a question. Have you ever had an orgasm that you missed? You know when you know when you you automatically turn sensitive, and it's like, what just yeah. happened here. Like I just missed my orgasm. Yes. Yes. I've what? It's kind you of have, it's so frustrating. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I've ever I've had the ones that have wrapped, they're almost there and close, but I've never like totally missed it. I don't think I know. Well, I know exactly I've, what you're talking I've about. I've gone sensitive Wait. and I'm like, I don't mean I didn't get the Oh yeah, I, I mean I've understand. gone that where I'm tired and I'm burnt What's out. What's the and missing I, orgasm? It's I can't explain like, it really. It's, it's almost just like, like you're having sex and you feel like you're about to have your orgasm yes. and then all of a sudden you feel like maybe it was just like a miniature one or something. I don't right. know, but, but it was so tiny that you you're, you know, when after you have your orgasm, your um, vagina turns very sensitive. Yes. So you turn sensitive and you're like, wait a minute, what happened well, what to my really huge it? orgasm? Like yes. it was very, sm like maybe oh, it was small, like I felt happened. it, but maybe I I took a breath <laughs> or something at the wrong time <laughs> or something here. happened where I missed it. Oh, I hope that that does not happen. But I don't want to experience the those. <laughs> then you're pissed in your mind. So what you could do is women have a very short refractory period. So you yeah. just kind of be like, okay, I missed it. Relax. And you can go again. Let's try yeah. this again. No, yes. I do. I haven't have had to. that, but I've had the it's ones the that are like almost there, almost there. Damn, it's not gonna happen. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> those oh, can't like get it back. And it's yes. so close. So no, close. Uh, now, yeah, our next question for you that we ask every single guest host that comes on the okay. show. Okay. After sex, sleeping, eating, or cuddling? Cuddling, hundred percent. I'm quick. such. I just know. I I I I am a cuddler. I love, I can't so you live without that. want to nestle up back oh, yes. underneath them? Ab absolutely. Yeah. Like all, Sweaty, like, loose, candle long. massage. Yeah, body. I do. I, I, I really love physical touch. I'm super touchy. Is that your really. love language? Yeah. Did you read the five love language yes. books? Yeah, me too. I'm That's quality such a time. great book. Yes. <laughs> I'm so not quality time. I never want to see oh, what I'm I want to call. Absolutely cuddle. quality time. <laughs> I, I'm a touch okay, person. But, but that's a Gemini I trait, I think. Um, yes, I'm like, when are you leaving? Trait. I don't want quality you time. Have stuff to do. <laughs> that's okay. Great. I'm busy now. I'm like, after we cuddle yeah. and I get my needs met, you you're out. Hilarious. And I'm no. But that's uh, a great book. We're talking about the five love languages. Everyone has their things. Yeah. Right. I think I recommend that book to a lot of people. When I give my dating advice, I will tell people people if you're going through this and you're not understanding you her or minutes. you're not understanding him you need to read the love language because sometimes people break up just because they don't understand what the partner needs exactly yeah it's and because like the way we're all raised we all experience love differently yeah, or we want, all want love. Like, right. so for me like i just know that i need physical like if a guy doesn't like i've had slept with a guy maybe the first time we sleep together and then he rolls over and he's not touching me i'm like i feel like i'm like i have to leave like i really yeah. feel like i'm dying but some mm -hmm. women are like, do not touch me, do oh, not. Oh, wow. So, yeah. so I couldn't be with someone yeah, who's I don't like, have I don't to like be physical touch. touch. Right. I'm, See, like, but that's I'm really like, common. you did your job, let's go eat. <laughs> and I like words of option. affirmation. So those, there's five yes. of them. I want you to tell me like, I'm beautiful, I'm sexy, I'm hot, it was great. Even though I know it, I need to cure it. But or some, afterwards you're gonna be asking, so yeah. uh, how was it? <laughs> but guys, you know, but then, and you could also be with a guy who, you know, he might have different love languages, but so for example, like how they, they say it is like, if a guy doesn't show me those things, I don't feel it. like I have to right. tell him, yep. let him know, like tell me that. Or a guy might want qualities like, Emily, I need to know that. And I was actually dating a guy recently. He's like, I just need to know that you save one night a week for me. Like he let it know that quality <laughs> That's time. Important. That's always important. important. Yeah. He's like, Lauren will get back and to you. And if he doesn't know, know that, yeah. if he doesn't like, know that words of yeah. affirmation is one of yours, he right. might not know to give you that affirmation. Exactly. And so now you both are going without something that the other partner needs. Right. And yeah. you might think somebody's not compatible with you when really they just needed to know exactly. your love language. It's True. a really, it's a, by Gary Chapman, I think the book. It's yeah. It's a really good that. one. And for those of you guys who don't know, it's words of affirmation, quality time, uh, acts of service, gifts, and affection yep and oh, so those those could be something in I your know. relationship that you're missing you know. that your partner might not be giving to you or that you need to communicate that you need from them but everybody has their own and so right. you can even take the there's a test that you can take with it to figure it out if you don't know what yours is right mm -hmm. and there's a lot of couples who like suffer because she's like i just or acts of service for example like this is so like stereotypical like 1950s but a woman's like he comes home from work but he never helps you like do the dishes or with housework and like it really makes me frustrated if he would just do acts of service that way mm. and he's thinking i come home and i expect the food to be 
on the table because they got him working and I'm making right. but but for her she's not experiencing any love from him like no matter what he could be buying her gifts he could be telling her she's beautiful but she, she does not help. feel love yeah. because he's not doing you know what I'm saying so she will never yeah. feel love so once you figure this out it works for so and many and now couples. he's missing out on a blowjob because he's not okay. doing right. it exactly. and, and he's he has not no idea affection. right exactly <laughs> and he needs um, you know affirmation or he needs appreciation or right. whatever, you know so you guys gotta awesome. read the book yeah. but you also yes. gotta make sure when you pick up the book the five love love Five Love Languages, that you also get hot sex. Yes. So get both of those books, you guys. Excited. And Emily, we are so happy that you were able to come and share all your sexpertise with us. Yes. This is so fun. And you're I have to come back. We want, yes. you, we want you all the time. So I anytime here. that you have a free schedule, we're going to bring you back. Okay, good. Anytime. Tell all of your fans and everybody watching where they can find you. Okay. Um, sexwithemily.com is really like my main point but I would say follow me on Twitter I answer your questions it's uh, at sexwithemily Instagram at sexwithemily and then facebook.com slash sexwithemily emilyandtony.com use coupon code emily but this is all on my website it's all sexwithemily.com <laughs> yeah thank you so much for having me yes, absolutely so fun. yes absolutely fun. we're gonna have you back for sure I'm fun. here and yes. I am your host once again Spicy Mati you guys can play with my Twitter at spicy underscore Mati or you can stroke my Instagram oh. really good at spicy underscore Mati Phoenix where can they find you <laughs> you guys can find me on instagram um, slash phoenix white and my new website which is phoenixwhite.net <laughs> and you can find me at drea renee underscore n on facebook twitter and instagram <laughs> thanks guys every friday 4 30 we're here let's talk about Hi. sex Hi. Hi to you. from producers maria menounos dario Kristen, tiana hobson kevin undergaro and the entire bhl crew we would like to thank you for supporting black hollywood live the first online broadcast network dedicated to african-american entertainment for questions and comments contact us at info at black like us on facebook Tweet us or Instagram us at BHL Online. And I'm your BHL announcer, Scipio. Instagram me at Planet Scipio. Thank you for tuning in. BHL, we don't have the ads yet. So okay. for the views expressed here are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of BHL or its owners or principals. Thanks for watching Black Hollywood Live on YouTube. For more in-depth interviews and news, subscribe to our channel here and be sure to share your opinion in the comment section below here. See you soon, everyone. Bye.